What's going on guys? Today, we're gonna to be hitting a chest workout. Just rocked up at the gym. Bank holiday Monday. Hope you've all had a good bank holiday by the way. And the sun is shining. Car's saying 21 degrees. So I can't argue with that, it's beautiful. Got the C4 on deck. Pineapple flavor, ready to drink that and hopefully get a good buzz off it. I usually do, it's a very good product, so check them out, sell your car. Dressed in Gymshark as you can see. I like to look good when I'm working out. Anyway, onto the workout. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview. Gonna be hitting chest. I'm gonna be going for a few PBs today on chest with flat bench going 110 kg for five reps for three sets. And yeah, you may think my form's not the best on that. I'm gonna be grindy on it, but hopefully over the next like coming weeks, I'll improve my strength and improve form as well. Anyway, enough of me talking. I'm gonna get in the gym, do my regular commentary on the video, and then speak to you after. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Welcome to the chest workout, everyone. It's a pretty short video, so I'm gonna keep it short and sweet with all the information I'm gonna give you. But first off, I'm gonna be honest, didn't do 110 on the bar, did 100. Main reason, I felt like shit. Felt weak. You sometimes get those days in the gym where you're not feeling it. So forget about your ego, drop the weight, and make sure you just get good reps and good form. Now, started off on the flat barbell bench press. Three sets heavy of five reps, two sets light uh, to failure. Now, the main reason I do strength training first and then my hypertrophy and conditioning after on the compound exercises is I'm in a calorie surplus, I'm trying to gain muscle, trying to gain weight, so for me personally that's the best way to do it. I would however recommend this way if you've hit a plateau in your training, if you cannot get that 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th rep, go heavy for a couple of weeks, go back to your regular routine and I guarantee you'll be able to hit them extra 2-3 to three reps. The main reason being is doing this sort of training you're going to be working slow twitch muscle fibres and fast twitch muscle fibres stimulating them both is going to be good for you in the long run you're going to make good lean gains and progress how you would want to by getting those extra reps anyway back to my workout and same principle applies really for the incline barbell bench press I go for three sets heavy two sets light to failure the only difference I did change was I was feeling really good actually on the incline so I made the rep range up to eight instead of five so I'm probably going to up the weight next week, so I'm keeping it quite low, five to six. Um, some of you form critics out there will be telling me why you're not bringing the bar right down to your chest. Now, I like to bring it about an inch, inch and a half above my chest, and then don't fully lock out on the way up. Main reason being is it keeps ten constant tension on the muscle for each rep for the whole time you're doing it. I don't like bouncing it off my chest, and it also hurts my shoulder joints. Whilst I, if, if I bring it any lower than how I'm going there, that's just how my body reacts to it. And I'm sure some of you will be saying I'm not doing the full range of movement, but that's just that's just what works for me, guys. Now, after this, we moved on to some isolation work, and one of my favourite exercises is the incline dumbbell flies. Now, you've got to do this exercise correctly for it to work. It is great. It's a great way to contract the upper and inner chest, bringing the humerus across the body is the best way to shorten the pec muscle and get the best contraction however you don't want to be flinging them up and down and touching the weights together at the top control the rep on the way down control the negative and then slowly contract on the way up I can't stress that enough you see a lot of people throwing heavy weights around doing it doing it all wrong and that can really cause bad shoulder joint damage in the long run after that we moved on to this hammer strength machine it was a decline press and I've never used one of these before so I thought I'd give it a go and it kind of mimics the dumbbell action of bringing the arms and humerus up and in. So I actually quite enjoyed it. I just did three sets of 10 on a moderate weight. And as I was going out, I was picturing bringing my hands together to get that good contraction in the lower chest. Now, to finish off the workout, I like to go onto cables and do some isolation and toning work. The main reason being is everyone wants a good chest when it's got them nice striated lines in it. And for me, cable exercises are the best way to do it. Now I started off with three sets of ten on the cable press, just pushing down and then twisting in at the bottom, contracting the inner inner pecs. And then finally, one of my absolute favourites, the cable crossover flies. Retract the scapula, stick your chest out, and alternate with each arm going up and over the other. And when you meet in the middle, 
contract that chest and this one is a brilliant exercise hope you enjoyed it short video like i said i've got another one coming this week thank you for watching any questions comment below just sipping on a post-workout shake back at ollie's house borrowed his raspberry ripple my protein flavor it's actually quite nice um at first i thought it was a little bit too sweet but it's growing on me anyway hope you enjoyed that chest video guys um as i said in the video i did drop down to 100 kg on the bench press i don't know what was with me i just didn't feel strong today um you have them days some days you feel really good some days you don't i just didn't feel that good today hopefully tomorrow will be a better day in the gym but yeah still felt good contractions whilst doing the flies and all the other exercises i did and yeah i think overall it was a good workout um any questions as usual comment on the video you can inbox me um, on my Instagram and you can contact me on my email at ckbodybuilding at hotmail.com. Thank you for all the support as usual. I'm going to be recording a, a bit of a different workout video actually tomorrow on the Tuesday. I'm going to a new gym around Leicester and it's meant to be really good. So yeah, I'll get some good footage there and have that up hopefully by Friday or the weekend. And yeah, thank you for the support as usual. Comment, subscribe, like, and I will see you on the next one.